So Wool Benji here. Today I'm going to show you what I call the Resource River Run. Okay, so we are in Everfall, and here's the settlement in Everfall. We're just going to go south and a little bit west, and we're going to start right in here, right below the Draco Tower at the river, and we're just going to follow the river to Windsward and collect all the resources along the way. And this is a really good run for water moats, which is used to power level arcana very cheaply but it's also really good for hemp it's amazing for wood uh there's a few pit stops if you're a fisherman there's uh sometimes there's some nodes and i guess i can't harvest this one it might be bugged out until the server restarts oh that's a shame because uh, i got that one earlier but anyway we're just gonna follow the river and if there's any resources along the river that catch your eye you just pick them up now i do suggest being uh, in the level 40 range so that you can wear three tier 4 bags because right now I can carry 1057 pounds worth of weight and my bags are going to fill up long before I even reach Windsward. That's how lucrative this river run is, okay? So we're just going to go along and grab everything we need. So I'm skipping the little baby trees. I don't need briar. And uh, we're just going to run along the river and grab pretty much everything. Now I also suggest a great axe. For this reason, if you cross a river, you kind of start waiting. Okay, well, this water is really shallow. I'll show you in a bit. All right, but like I said, this is an amazing run for water moats. And you can sometimes get the rare uh, river crest drops too. But essentially, you're just going to kind of look to the left and the right of the river. And look, there's a four node tree. I absolutely need to power level my engineering, so I need tons and tons of wood. I have been buying timber and green wood from the markets to the point where I have risen the price on the entire server from every city. So, it's no longer profitable for me to buy wood at this point um, as far as power leveling my skills, so I need to chop it manually. And you'll notice that I'm not getting any experience. That is because I am max in lumbering. You can see I'm max in logging, mining, tracking, and harvesting. I haven't maxed fishing yet. That one's going to take a while. But I'm trying to push 150 engineering, and this river run is going to help me get some very good wood spawns. I also want to level Arcana at some point, so I'm getting lots and lots of water moats so I can push that. And uh, so here, here's what I'm talking about with the Great Axe, right? When you get waist high in water, you slow down, but if you use your charge ability, you can run right through the water at full speed. It's very good. But that's really all there is to it. This is just a fun little route to change things up and you get to see some different scenery. And like I said, it's really good for the uh, the water moats. You got river crests. You also have those water stones um, that you can mine. So you want to have at least like 50 mining, I believe, for those. And I think it's 30 for the river crests. You don't have to be super high leveled, but I do, like I said, I recommend level 40 so that you can carry all of this stuff and you don't have to stop your run prematurely, okay? I'm going to cross the river and I'm going to grab this. Now, uh, you'll notice that I'm not, like, using light armor roll cancel dodges, okay? You can do this run much faster if you did that. But me, I'm just taking it easy. I'm just zigzagging across the river here, getting the trees, getting the river crests. It's, it's just a chill gathering video, guys. Uh, again, now, what I like to do is I like to follow the river all the way down, and then at the split... Okay, so, so here's my route. I leave, go here, and I start there, right? Let's continue chopping. And then I, I go here, and then I go this way, because there's lots of hemp this way. But if you want to go this way, there's lots of iron, okay? So at the split, you'll take left for hemp and right for iron. I have tons and tons of iron. I have like three or 4,000 iron bars that I'm just holding on to right now, because the market's kind of kind of bad on my server. They're only like a dollar each. They used to be $3, so I'm waiting for them to, to go back up in price before I sell them. So I'm just, I'm just hanging out and waiting for all the crafters um, that demand iron. So here we go, we're just going to jump down. Also, there is a water fish character here, the floating spine fish. So it looks like I got the spine fish fins that time, which is really cool. But sometimes you just get water moats, like 30 of them. Alright, so that's 30 focus potions. Right there, that's 10 focus potions. That's lots of arcana experience. And then, like I said, these things are all down the river. Just follow the river. The river is very lucrative, it's just full of resources. I mostly need wood right now, so that's why I'm getting these four nodes. If you've watched my previous videos, you know that these are the best trees in the game. So I think it's kind of funny that uh, a lot of YouTubers kind of copied my video about the chopping the, the, the wooden dogs down. And um, for those that are saying that I'm copying them, no, I made, I, I made videos about that place in closed beta. Alright, 
So, anyway, but they all labeled their video as a great way to level up your, um, your logging, you know, like, logging experience, right? And, uh, that's not really the reason for that place, okay? Weirdwood currently is, is worth pennies because no one can really utilize it. Yeah, you can sit on it for a while and fill up all your storage areas if you want. Yeah, that's fine. Um, but in the meantime, right now, like, these greenwood trees, these young trees... Yeah, they're a little bit less experienced. I have to chop four of these, and it's still not equal to one dog. All right. However, this each each green wood that you chop makes you way more money. It also allows you to level up your crafting. So if you if you leveled your logging from 100 to 200 on the weird wood dogs, the wooden doggos, then you're you shouldn't have done that because um you're gonna need lots and lots of wood in this game for crafting. Okay, I I think to level engineering 100 to 150. It, you gotta craft like 8,300 of the tier 2 bows, or the tier 3 bows. Uh, no, they're tier 2. They're, they're tier 2 bows. Um, which is the most cost-effective way of leveling your engineering to 150. Right? Um, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know why I crossed the river. Um, I'm not sure why I did that. Oh, there's a river crest there, so it was worth it. But yeah, this is the, uh, the river run, and... See how I'm taking this fork? Now there was the uh, the other fork this way. Uh, we're not going to take that one because I, uh, I, I don't know. I'm just going towards Windsor. This one goes towards, uh, this one kind of like loops up and around. and you, just, you can just do like a circle if you wanted or follow this river all the way up to, where is it? Yeah, you can follow this river all the way to Great Cleave and it kind of ends here. Um, that's another route. I have not, I've not tried that route yet, but I, I will at some point, you know? I think there might be a, a little a thing to these rivers. But yeah, I can I can do about half the river before my inventory completely fills up with mostly uh, wood, but you get tons and tons of moats along the way. Um, al also, once you reach the Windsward areas, off in the distance, you'll have the fire ones. Um, you won't get air ones or soul ones. Those are in different areas. So if you're looking for soul and air moats, th this is not really the best route. So I'm going to go ahead and get this four node tree. But yeah, guys, uh, if you get bored of gathering in one little spot, then try the river route. The river route lets you work between two different cities. So basically, I go here, I get my town board quest, I do the river route, and I follow the river zigzagging all the way down here. Then I just go up to Windsward, deposit my stuff, get the town board quest there, turn them in if I need it, because I'm getting all the resources. Like, I'll encounter animals along the way for leather, there's some iron... You know, you, you basically get everything you need for the town board quest. And if you're a fisherman, you can also fish, like I said, to fill out those quests as well. Um, and then you, you make your way back up to Everfall. And by then, 30 minutes will have passed. You'll have some new town board quests stacking with your old ones. You can turn those in. And it's all Gucci. It's all really good. Um, it's a fun route. It keeps you occupied. It changes the scenery so you don't get bored visually. I highly recommend... The Swole Benji River Gathering Route. I don't know what to really call it, but that's pretty much what it is. And there are so many 4x4 trees along this route. That's also why I'm recommending it, because these little 4x4 trees, they are the best trees. You should never chop a non 4x4 tree, to be honest. Unless you're... No, I don't want boulder. Some people say that these weird colored boulders also give flint uh, in my flint farming video. So I'm just going to try that real quick. And this, uh, this boulder already kind of got mined. Um, yeah, I got three flint from that, so that's cool. So that's an alternative if you want some flint. Oh, and by the way, guys, uh, once you hit 300 strength, uh, which gives you the instant mining 25% chance, here's how it works. Um, if you jump after hitting the the node, it resets your percent chance. But if you, if you sit there and keep mining it, then it will never trigger. It only triggers upon the first hit the first fresh hit. So if I hit a node and it failed, I have to stop mining, then start mining, and that gives me a chance to instantly delete it again. I, I guess I can show you on one of these smaller rocks. Let me just get these trees. There's another river crest over there I kind of want to get. And I sold some iron for 71 bucks. Very cool. Um, I think earlier today I was at like 60,000 and I'm down to 30,000 because I've just been buying engineering materials. Okay, let's try it. And pink. And jump and pink. Well, that's a two hitter. That doesn't really count. So that's a one hitter. Man, I'm not blowing any of these up instantly. I don't. I don't need stone though. I'm gonna just toss that out, uh, so I can have more weight. Anyway, guys. Well, that's all I've really got for you. Just follow the river. I'm not gonna. Oh, there's another spine fish here. I didn't see that last time. Very cool. 37 motes of water. Excellent.
Let's see, what do we got over there? We got a 4x4, anything over here that's juicy. You can also look at your tracker. Uh, like, there's a turkey in the distance. I don't really need turkeys anymore. Um, at least not, not for right now. And again, great X to cross those rivers. All right, I'm so Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. Make sure that you leave a like and a comment. You have to do both because when you leave a like and a comment, and when you do both, it's an algorithm combo, okay? It's like a YouTube cheat code, all right? Like, a comment is worth one point, and leaving a like is worth one point. But if you do both on the same video, it's worth four points, okay? That's a four times multiplier. It's super cool. Uh, also, 80% of you aren't subscribed, so please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate those that do. Um, so, we're almost at 50,000. Really do appreciate everyone that's helped out. Again, guys, that's all I've got. And uh, I'm going to chop this tree. And when this tree hits the ground, the video will end. When it touches the floor. Here we go. And...